Shameful and humiliating, UNDP took Nigerian governor to Rwanda for training. Ex-Foreign Minister Bolaji Akinyemi says, Welcome to the news and thank you for tuning in to listen. Please subscribe to our channel. Nigerian governors have come under fire for attending the leadership retreat in Kigali, the capital of Rwanda. A former Minister of Foreign Affairs, Prof. Bolaji Akinyemi, on Tuesday described the governor's decision to travel to the East African country for the program as shameful and a humiliation for Nigeria. The Whistler reported that the three-day retreat organized by the United Nations Development Program, UNDP, for the Nigeria's Governor Forum, NGF, was held from August 24th to 27th. The UNDP said the retreat was in line with its commitment towards raising the level of governance in Africa and other parts of the world. The UN agency also said the retreat would provide a transformative platform for the governors to collectively, collectively reflect, learn, and change insight on effective leadership and complex challenges. But Aki Yemi, while speaking on a rise television on Tuesday, faulted the decision of the governors and the UNDP to stage the retreat in Rwanda. Aki Yemi, also a former director general of the Nigerian Institute of International Affairs, NIIA, said the retreat should have been organized within the country by relevant Nigerian institutions. When you think things cannot get worse, then they do get worse. I cannot believe we will fall into the pit of shame by 19 of our governors going to Kigali, Rwanda to learn how to govern. Our governors have no business. The UNDP has no business taking our governors there. In any case, the UNDP has no business putting on a training program for our governors. Is the National Institute for Policy and Strategic Studies, NIPSS, not there? We have several training institutions. The Nigerian War College is there. The Nigerian Defense College is there. This is a Nigerian institution that could put on training programs and retreat programs for our governors. They did not need to humiliate us by going to Rwanda. Questioning the reasons behind the decision to stage the retreat in Rwanda, Akiyemi noted that the East African country was not a model for democracy. What is UNDP up to? Are they sending a signal to Africa that they prefer development to democracy? Is that the message that they are sending to Africa? And is that the message that our governors are going to Rwanda to embrace? Kigali of all places? Yes, I do admit and I concede that the president of Rwanda inherited a terrible situation when he came to power. And he came up with his own system of dealing with that terrible situation. And what did he come up with? Not allowing human right. Not allowing civil right. One man, one rule. One man narrative, and it seems to be working in Rwanda. But one of caution here we saw one man rule in a lot of Francophone African countries when the strong man died, they descended into civil war. I think the answer is still out there about whether it is going to be a successful experiment in Rwanda. The retired dem diplomat expressed concern that Nigerian politicians and public office holders have developed the habit of holding meetings important outside the country. He noted that the habit has not resulted in the decision to hold the leadership retreat, retreat rather, for governors in Rwanda. Maybe we should have foreseen this when during the campaign, our politicians, some of them who are now in office, kept going to London, going to Paris, having meetings there about how they would reconfigure development and progress and reconciliation in Nigeria. Some of us spoke out loudly, we called them out, we criticized them. It made no difference. This still continued. He further observed that things were different in the past, as Nigeria's founding fathers never traveled out of the country for campaigns, unlike what was witnessed before the 2023 general elections. I am of the age when I remember Shiva Wolowo, Saraduna, Belawa, Azikiwe, once we became independent. They never went to Paris or London or the United States for the campaign. They never did. During the Second Republic, Shagari, Awolowo, Amin Okano, they never left the country as part of a campaign. But now we have a crop of politicians. We criticize the old school, but the old school seems to have more values, more patriotism, and more integrity than this present. But than this present lot. When I was a minister, it was a battle to stop people from even attending embassy party because at that time, you will find ministers and judges of the Supreme Court attending receptions, not given by the ambassador, but at times given by attaches. 
The Ministry of Foreign Health Affairs will send out notes upon notes, and IBB, the ex-military head of state, Ibrahim Babangida, who I served under, will send out cautionary notices at cabinet meetings about not demeaning Nigeria by flocking to these embassy parties. Well, I think I understand what he, he is trying to say. He is saying that, number one, uh, uh, um, you know, even if we want to learn, turn up on Rwanda, now in the Google learn, Rwanda that, you know, they are suppressing things and they are suppressing. My own is, eh? The thing is, we easily see the fault of others without seeing ours. Don't get me wrong, I'm not in support of people who travel to Rwanda. Rwanda is not in a very good place, so <laughs> people will be saying they respect the human rights. But at the same time, I want to make the professor look well, make you see saying a very similar thing they happen for this we country. Uh -huh. Poor man go wrong, go court. Their court say, Oh, they won't take my ass. Oh God help me now. Nah. They won't take my ass. Court go say, Okay. Don't worry, I will help you. As the court, the talk say, Don't worry, I will help you. Don't worry, just go. As the poor man they come up for the door, the rich man wasted there don't come, can't tell court. Can't tell the judge say, Afa, sir. I go be. I'm going to give you 100 million naira. I'm going to give you 50% of the 100 million naira that I'm going to make. How far? I be. Before you know what thing will happen, the poor man will come cry. You don't finish. They don't collect the ass. In fact, they don't even arrest and put them for prison. Then I say, in the claim, the land will not belong to them. The thing is, if you want condemn, you go check your eyes well before you go. They say, if you want. Come on, the love of food with it for person. Remove the splitter with it for your own face. So, yes, it is it's, it's true that uh, the one that uh, is not the equal, okay, but Nigeria, uncle, is Nigeria fine? Huh? That is the question. May Allah extend your life, Prof. If the prominent individual of Prof. Bolanji Akiyemi pass on this country, we finish. I got off today uh, amongst children that cause a shame. With using a great country like Nigeria into nothing, they value any stupid foreign country, even our backyard, for intent and purposes. Don't you know their motive is finding available avenues to steal, whether invited or not?